Dreamweaver and Dream win, dream win, dream win. And you're not that guy. No, trust me. You're not that guy. I don't have time. <laughs> dream win, dream win, dream win. And Welcome to Dreamweaver and Chill, and thanks for chilling with me. Tonight, I have a guy that everybody knows. He changes his name as he changes his spiced meat on his pizza. It's naughty, everybody. How are you, sir? I'm great. How's it going? It's going pretty good. So, so what names do you use? You use a few different ones. Uh, I think it depends on the situation. I've, uh, I, you know, for when I was running bacon, I was Naughty Boss Hog. Um, I've always kept it naughty. It's in some sense, uh, but uh, you know, uh, naughty preacher. Uh, currently going by Rev Naughty. So yeah, it's always been part of me. It's always naughty, though. It's always naughty. How much was it, guy? <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. You just reminded me that I got you into ZFG, and I did not remember. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Yeah, it was, a, it was a bit of time. Probably 2019. If I was in there and I was telling people to go there, it had to be 2019. Uh, yeah, I think I was in like some no-name alliance and you were like, dude, you're like the top of your alliance and they're like next to nobody. Yeah. Leave them and I've got something better for you to do. I'm like, okay. Well, I mean... it. it pretty true i mean uh look where you are now i know i'm absolutely a, a no rank fuss budget at dune it's awesome yeah but you know uh hey i don't want to take all the credit um <laughs> <laughs> so dune you are in dune i am and you are the admiral of dune I am just a mere Commodore. Okay, who's the Admiral over there? Oh, uh, that's a Zookeeper. Oh, Zookeeper. I miss Ron. No offense to anybody there. But, yeah. But Ron and I are friends on Facebook. <laughs> and and if you don't know Ron, like, know Ron, it's, it's hilarious. If you do know him, it's awesome. You're like, this guy is hilarious. He's Ranger Ron. But he's gone. Yeah, I don't think I've ever met him. Yeah, he's... Uh, He's a funny dude. He's a he's an old school dude. But you're there now. You were in Bacon before. Yep. And you were the creator of Bacon, I'm I'm told. That is true. So thank you for breaking up the old serious time of we all have to be serious and take everything seriously about our alliance names. You were the first one to I mean, well, let's say you were the first one that had a successful alliance out of it. I did have Milk, Xmas, you know, I had a lot of weird ones, but you actually succeeded. Yeah, I wanted to kind of create a place um, where everybody could just have fun. And so, you know, one of the things we try to do with everybody is to get them to participate by, you know, making their name something, you know, either bacon themed or barbecue themed. You know, just to enhance the level of fun that we were having inside. You know, we knew that we were going to take a bunch of ribbing in GC, but we didn't care. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that's the way to be. It's a, it's a game, right? Yeah, and, you know, we we grew. I think at the height, of we I think I had 72 members at the height of Bacon. That's a successful you know, we alliance. Were, I mean, that's in my book. Yeah, I mean, we... You know, every time we turned around, you know, we were, uh, you know, even though we didn't rank in the top 20 in terms of power, we were completing, you know, you know, challenges in the top 20 all the time. Bacon was around for a while. Dune has been around for a while, too, for probably a long, long time. Yeah, when um, when things started to go kind of downhill, we were trying to think of a place where... 
we had some similar interests, but we also, uh, but I also needed a kind of a kind of a safe place because some of the people who were leaving Bacon to go to other family member alliances during the war with LVE, in my brain were more kind of the farmer types, but um, I needed to find a kind of a place for them to have home too. You know, once the war ended. And uh, so Dune seemed like a really amiable place for that to happen. Um, you know, we brought in some PvP firepower with a few of our guys that, you know, could fight. But, you know, we, get, we had some guys that were pretty event-focused too, which I thought, you know, could help Dune as well, so. Now, a long time ago, I tried to merge with Dune. And, uh... And we were the we were GOT, but we were like a, the third incarnation of it. So it was like sixteen people, and uh, our, our some of our suggestions were the names were. I only remember one was Dot. It was Dune and Got Dot. But that didn't happen. I was really excited, but we were too um, we were too violent for them at the time. It just didn't happen. And then Kitty stepped into Dune and, and did what he did with Dune and then left. And you guys kind of came in and joined them, though. We did. Yeah, there was, you know, there was, you know, no, hey, let's uh, create a new name or anything like that. We we knew that we were kind of uh, the lost sheep, you know, trying to fit their, their melting pot. So um, we were happy to take on their moniker and... Uh, just help them uh, become a better, stronger alliance. And I think uh, we just recently leveled up again. And so I think Dune's actually going to be doing some recruiting soon. Oh, wow. That's good. That's that's good news. That's It's growing then. Yeah. I think we uh, just popped them up to where they can be at 76 people. Huh. So. That's awesome. Well, I mean... I'm kind of torn. I, I want to ask you about bacon, but I don't want to reopen any wounds. No, feel feel free. I have nothing to hide there. So, like I know I I heard things, I saw things. Uh, you know, uh, bacon was successful. What happened? What what you ran? You ran uh, with some big alliances, and then all of a sudden, it was like there were you're gonna have to lose the name or it was just confusing can you can you clear it up for us so god where do i even begin this story so we were looking to kind of join a kind of a a family situation you know um back like LVE had way back when, where they had, a, you know, some really strong alliances back when, you know, Kill was part of it and all that kind of thing. And so we approached LVE, and the first time didn't go very well. We had some support within the family, but uh, they didn't want to really go down that road with us. So, you know, I kind of kept the door open between Iron Man and myself, and um, he was having some some issues i think uh sce was really hurting and uh he had a territory he couldn't defend based on his own numbers so we would help supply some folks they just you know flop over to sce uh, and help out and that seemed to work out pretty well for everyone so we eventually um became part of the lve family you know and I think it was probably more miscommunication than anything else. You know, when I when I thought I was joining, I thought I was you know joining as a you know an equal voice as an admiral. And what I learned later is that no, it's not. I mean, you're an admiral, but basically in name only. I mean, show kind of runs the show. He and Iron Man, and and I think Sable kind of run the whole thing and you're just out of there dealing with the day-to-day stuff of your individual sect of the family 
you know, and when I joined, I didn't have any intention of getting rid of my autonomy. <laughs> yeah, they were kind of like you know? the, the grand admirals, you'd call it, to your admiral. Right. And so, you know, I said, hey, you know, I don't, you know, I don't think this is working for us. And things kind of started going downhill there. I, I lost a few members as a result of making that that switch and then there was the whole aspect of you know because as you know being part of the you know lv family we were also part of the coalition which you know emc fear dot 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 and you know they were saying no they're no longer part of the lv family they're not part of the coalition so you know, Vulcan uh, didn't think uh, that's the way he understood how things were going to run, and there were a few others within the coalition. And you thought, look, I'm just going to leave LVE's family, but I'm still going to be there for uh, defense and that. Yeah, all that entailed. Yeah, I'm just going to come in as an independent member and yeah. earn and earn my spot. Exactly. I mean. Because, I mean, we, I don't know if you remember this, I mean, how Bacon even got into territory was when um, a Proton started losing all their territories. Yeah. EMC came to us and said, hey, how would you like some territory? We were like, sure, we'd like some territory. So we were one of the first smaller alliances to jump on and started taking territory from Proton. And that kind of got us into the mix with uh, Fury and Proton. Oh, I bet. KH, probably oh. Dread, those kind of back, back those. Oh, times. my God. It was, re it was, it was ridiculous. But we, you know, we just weathered the storm, you know, it was worth it. It was worth it for us to kind of get into the game so to speak well you were there and then all of a sudden defenses these right. level level 50s and level 40s all came to your defense right yeah absolutely so i mean you know people go you know they were warned me you know you know emc is gonna abandon you you know after they get done with what they're doing and you know i i'm a pretty i think i'm a pretty intelligent guy but, you know, and I was like, uh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm using them. They're using me. Uh, I'm okay. You know, we're, we're, we're going to get this done and we're just going to write out the system. You know, and that's what we did. So. So, yeah, we were, you know, we were. We, in the midst of, um, and I need to go back to the LVE story. So in the midst of all of the turmoil that we were going with the autonomy, uh, Piff and Bacon had swapped some territories. And, uh, and it, during the process of one of the defenses of one of Piff's territories that I was controlling at the time, um, I, Inc. came in and just blew me away there was nothing i could do and uh you know and so i was the scapegoat for that loss and it, you know so you didn't have the big guns defending helping you though anymore right you were uh, again that you know it, it was laid on to me that i was the one completely at fault you know i'm the one that should have reached out to the coalition to make sure i had everything in check i thought i had done so but, you know, in retrospect, maybe I should have double-checked and made sure, okay? So I have to, you know, take a little bit of, I, not a little bit, I do have to take some responsibility in this. Because, you know, I was covering for them, you know? Yeah. It should. So, so through all of this turmoil that we went through with LV and everything as a result of all of this, and with everybody else, you know, 
you know, I, I started ha- walking around with a chip on my shoulder, you know, thinking that, uh, you know, you know, my stuff don't stink. And, you know, LPE said, hey, you know, uh, you know, we we can pretty we can, much we can smell you and your and you your butt. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know, I, I I'm the I'm the big guy on the butt. I got this, you know. And uh, and I needed to learn some hubris, you know. Yeah. It, uh, it was a crushing defeat. I mean, I still have some of my guys. Uh, out in you know other family that we had alliances that still haven't filtered back towards us and uh, I even lost a few more guys to LVE family who joined you know some of our other previous members that had drifted that way when we first left so you know, I, uh, you know, I have to hold myself accountable. You know, one of the things that tipped off the big war was, you know, uh, JLP. Uh, he's uh, Iron Man's other uh, negotiator in training or whatever he's calling himself these days. This is John uh, Luke Pigard. Yeah. Okay. I know him. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was one of my Commodores uh, at Bacon. But he started heavily recruiting Aiken before any of this war started happening. And I I simply got fed up with it. I was like, dude, go find somebody else to recruit from. You know? Yeah. I told him, I said, it, it's not going to happen anymore. The next time you do it, I'm going to just KOS you. And that's going to be it. And so, you know, that's what started the war. Is because I told him I was just going to KOS him personally. I wasn't going to have any of my team smack him, but I was just going to smack him every time I saw him. Yeah, stay away from my stuff, right? Like, stay out of my room. Exactly. You know, go go filch from somebody else. <laughs> I've I've been there. Uh, I've had people um, contact people in my alliance, and then they tell me yeah. about it, and I'm like, "Look, get out of here." Yeah. So, you know, I let my, you know, my eagle mouth override my hummingbird butt. And, you know, (laughs) the the results are what what the results are. I don't have any ill will for, you know, Iron Man. I don't have any ill will for show. You know, those guys did what they had to do. Hey, wait, I'm I'm trying to, I'm still trying to picture this eagle mouth with this bird butt. It's, it's, (laughs) It's a strange creature. I don't know if it can fly. I'm, I don't I don't know whose wings it has if it has eagle wings or bird wings but it has a huge eagle beak and a tiny bird butt. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much I, I mean yeah. <laughs> doesn't work is what you're telling me that doesn't work. It does it does not work. You know so I you know I had to learn a little hubris and you know the guys that came with me to come to Dune. Uh, you know, I, I learned something about loyalty. You know, loyalty is a uh, is a huge deal, uh, you know, right or wrong. You know, and when I created Bacon and I created that family atmosphere, um, you know, the people that I recruited were people that had been blown out from other places, you know, for this, that, or the other, you know. And, you know, I, I kind of rehabbed them. It, it, it is my way of looking at it, you know. Um, you know, I want to say probably sixty percent of my recruits came from Vega. Oh yeah, you know? and 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 that's another war we all need to hear about. Oh God, that was God back back in Bacon's infancy. I think I had a dozen players at the time when uh, Yo Eminence was just spouting forever talking about how he was going to take his 70 people and just crush little old bacon but but let me stop so, let me stop you there <laughs> i'm not saying that yo is like nostradamus but he did say that he was going to destroy bacon right yep. and bacon isn't around anymore that's not true 
Oh, Bacon's still alive somewhere. Some somebody out there has uh, revived the tag. They've spelled it a little differently, and uh, I think their admiral's name is Mister Pig Shot. Oh, he's a pig shot. Yeah. Well, he better watch so, out because uh, you know having the full force of Yo's seven active players, it could be a <laughs> rough time. But at the time, you know, I, I had a bunch of, you know, noobs and it was just me and a couple of other guys. And uh, we literally one day we just, we'd had enough of his mouth. We found like a dozen bases and we hit them all within an hour. <laughs> I was just I, I'd go in and I'd one shot a base and move on to the next and let the guys just gobble it up. And then, you know, all of a sudden. Yo, shut up for a little bit. He didn't realize that, you know, we could just manhandle them the way that we did. It was kind of cool because we all acted as one, you know. It was, hey, we're going to show up at this time, and here's who we're hitting, and boom, 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 and it's, we're out. And so. That's good. It's, that's it's, kind of, it's good when you, uh, what is, well, Hannibal used to say, it's good when a plan comes together. And, you know, so, you know, we had some early successes that way. And it, and it helped, you know, develop us, get get us some other players. I mean, we, after we hit people's bases, we had people that we had hit saying, oh, my God, I've never been hit so hard so fast. You know, <laughs> can you show us how to do that? And I'm like, yeah, but you're going to need to leave Vega to come over to find out how. <laughs> and so that's how we started doing it is just people saying god you guys are just pounding me all the time how do i get out from under this well come come join bacon and we'll give you a we'll give you a real lesson on how to play the game instead of the five axioms that are oh my god you know, it's out every 10 days and, and his ac <laughs> is like come on guys all these other line alliances are evil keep up the good work you know, and then you don't see him for three days. Yeah, I, uh, matter of fact, in JLP, uh, he was one of my main recruiters. Matter of fact, he, he and I had him start our, uh, our Bacon Bits alliance. Oh, that's, and we, that's where, like a that's training. Where the would, yeah, that's where vegans would go, vegans would go first. Holy mackerel! From be from being a vegan to bacon bits. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 funny. <laughs> it's just awesome. You know, you can't plan that. Yeah, and so you know, so JLP, uh, you know, I was grooming him to you know, eventually you know, run his own gig. And but unfortunately, there was just areas where he and I just didn't see eye to eye, and you know. He, t he thought I should be listening more to him, and and I, you know, reminded him, you know, that you know, I'm the one that brought you to the dance. <laughs> you know, there's always somebody like that, that, that every time yeah. you say something, uh, they've got to one-up it. Or if you say, look, I, I did this uh, research, and they're like, well, I did that research last week, and you need to do this research. And uh, there's just always a grandma, it seems like, griping about stuff. You know, and like I said, you know, in retrospect, you know, you know, maybe I could have listened a little more. Like I said, you know, I was at the point where, you know, I thought I was pretty hot stuff in the uh, world of SDFC. Yeah, <laughs> and, that's uh, that's when you fall pretty fast. I've learned. Yeah. Lo, lo and behold, I wasn't as cool as I thought I was. So. But, uh, you know, I think I. I, th I think I'm still fairly cool in the game. I, you know, I try to be helpful to most people. I don't sit there and try to troll people. I sure do. I sure do. But that's just me. <laughs> I mean, you're in Dune, so you're in a good place. That's that alliance has been known for being a pretty stand-up group of people. Well, and, and you know, and trucks had that kind of. Kill me back a little bit. He'll, he'll see me starting to get ramped up in GC, and he's like, 
Okay, Naughty, time to dial it back. <laughs> I, I've been known to say some off-color things. Yeah, and there's so. there's kind of a joke in, in GOT about declaring war on Dune. Because uh, yeah. I think somebody hit one of my guys. And, of course, I just, I don't ask for details. I just ask, oh, they hit you? Oh, okay. Let's go. Yeah. And we start hitting everybody. Of course, then I talk to Truck, and he's like, well, come on, man. Let's be reasonable. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. I, I My bad. Totally my bad. Because, yeah, I uh, mean, I... Go ahead. I mean, I don't, I don't have anybody on farm, but, I mean... I think the other day I drained plasma oh, just because you? it was available. Yeah, and and, and uh, he's cool enough to where he'll be like, yeah, whatever. Yep. That, that dude, if you want to get jealous of somebody, be jealous of him in real life because the guy's got, dude, the, he's got the best life. That dude used to just pound me to no end when I was uh, low, low, low to mid-20s. He used to pound me into submission. He it was crazy. He's the inspiration for my having four Mayflowers. Is he really? Well, he had four <laughs> Kumaris that he would run around with. And and the the first two were, were pretty even. And then he had some stragglers. But boy, he would, back in those days, the 25, 24, 25 level days, yeah. he would smack people with four Kumaris. I thought it was so cool. I thought, man, I'm going to have that someday. And then, of course, I had four Kamaris a little later, and I was like, it's not as exciting now. Uh, but what's this other ship? Ooh, 26. Yeah, Mayflower. Right, right. Well, let me ask you this. What's your personal code of ethics in the game? Um, You know... So I say, I, you know, I, I, I follow a pretty strict ROE in most cases, uh, with the exception of war. As far as I'm concerned, if, if we're at war, all, all things are open. I don't care if you're in token space, what, whatever space. If you're OP, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> Just the way it is. It's war. Um, but it's war, you know. I The way I look at it, it costs me just as many tokens to enter token spaces it does you so if if you're sitting there op and i can steal it i'm going to you know that makes sense because you're going to get less from that interaction anyway exactly absolutely now when when you were bacon did you ever get like crazy bacon hate mail like was anyone creative enough to like put that tag to use? Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I would always, I, I would always get messages. I'm going to fry your bacon. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, you know, which I would reply is, you know, unfortunately this bacon bites back. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody ever gets, <laughs> Nobody ever complains when they're eating bacon, except for when eight bacon's eating you. Yeah, when the pepperoni bites back. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but you know, uh, you know, we we try to be creative with some messaging. You know, you know. Sorry, I I tried knocking to see if you were home and just wanted to borrow a couple sugar. I'm, you know, gonna make some maple bacon. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. You know, I mean, we, it, we, 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 you know, we'd get laughs because we were just having fun. You got to have fun, man. This is a game. Like, it, and I, I have to tell everybody, if you're listening to this and you're not having fun at this game, like, and I know that you're out there. I know there's a lot of you out there. Quit playing this game. Just quit. Yeah. Go play something else. Go, go do oh, something right. else. Go ride a bike. Delete the app. If it's... And, and it, you know? And it's a PvP game, guys. Yeah. And if you don't like getting hit, don't play this don't game. Play. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what upsets you and that's going to ruin your day and you're going to go out of your way to uh, like talk trash about people you see on Galaxy Chat every time you see them, quit the game. It's not healthy. Bacon is yeah, more mean, healthy. I think, it, I think 
AK's game is unbelievably cool. You know, yeah, do I like getting hit constantly by them? No, but that's their game, and they stand by it. They've always been like and that, so, man. They've always been like, we don't care. We're going to hit whoever. Now, they've reined it in a little bit, yeah. uh, which is great. But lots, of, <laughs> but lots of respect, though. I mean, that's, you know, that's always been them. Yeah, they've always been the, we're going to play it like Scopely designed it. And, and not only that, I mean, you know, AK for at least realizing that for him to perpetuate the gameplay that he wants, he always needs to keep someone in the crosshairs. Yeah, yeah. It has to. Yeah, he has to, or it doesn't make sense. Because then, then he's just got chaos going on. That's not what he's trying to do. He's, I mean, he's purposely trying to build these numbers for these guys. Well, it's like per- so, perpetual war for uh, perpetual peace. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know how he's creating all these PD numbers with, you know, all the minor hits that he's doing. They fight. They fight. Uh, but they, but they, yeah. they do fight. I mean, there's a few of those guys I, I can't touch. I mean, I'll tell you, there are some of them that just run around killing everything. They just right. kill, kill, kill. But that's a lot of work, man, to kill a, a 400,000, uh, you know, power, whatever, Antares. That's going to take you a while to get to, like, some of these guys are like 100 million or something like that. It's something oh, they're, crazy. They're, they're more than that. They're more than that because I'm at 140 mil. Oh yeah, so you're a killer too. Uh, I, I'm I'm peaceful compared to you guys. Uh, my time is my time is come and gone. I uh, war for me is a couple of guys that are in the billions. Yeah, yeah, that's those are big ships. Those that, you get there with big ships. Yeah, that's. I mean, DJ is his uh, five million uh, ant is no joke. Yeah, that. that I've been hit by that. Yeah. <laughs> They'll just come in and wreck you. I mean, I leave my miners out. And, and if I see, okay, my miner died, yeah, there's a pretty good chance it was killed by Hunt. And that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I was probably OPC, or I know it was probably zero. Most of the time, I'm zero. And that's that's cool. I don't care. Uh, it's not that much to repair. Yeah, we just did that... Uh platinum event and i was out there in romulan space uh doing the uh bigger latinum uh, con- concentrated latinum notes and i think uh, dj hit me once during the entire event which is weird because i'm we're cross-haired on that for them and usually you know they're hitting us a ton oh so but, uh, so they are mad at dune because you're there i don't know no, I think I think it was something that before that happened before we even showed up at Dune. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, good luck getting them the off whole, your back. I don't know the whole story. I don't need to know the whole story. Yeah, good luck getting those guys off your back. They will. They're just like sharks, man. They just eat and eat and eat, and they don't care. Well, like I said, there's only like two or three of them that I even worry about. The rest, I pretty, I think, I'm fairly certain I can handle most of them. I don't. So. If I see a mining, I don't hit them. It's like it, it takes it takes balls to to have the hunt tag and to just be mining out there. So I'm like, cool, respect. I'm not gonna hit you. Somebody will, but I'm not going to. No, I don't want to. I don't need to mess with their miners. Nah. Now, if I, if I see one of their warships close by, I might stop by and say hello. I mean, I don't need to kill just anybody, so can- but Ek. And I and I and I don't mean ill will to EK. I love EK because yeah. uh, they're always OPC in their territory, uh, and I'm talking like a lot. So keep doing oh. what you're doing, EK. I love you guys. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next episode. Yeah, if we if I was in a non coalition uh, uh, deal, I I think I'd be doing exactly what you're doing. I, I, I mean, get yeah, I get my exactly isotope. Right. EK is a target rich environment when it comes to OPC. I get my isotopes, I get my four star materials, 
I get three star materials. I'm fine. Yeah. The only thing that you don't get are your uh, articles. You can get them. Oh, can you? I haven't seen them. I'm going to have to check that out because I haven't seen those. Yeah, they're in there, man. Uh, the Surax particles and those things. There's one. Maybe there's one that's not in there, but they're in there now. They, they, uh, they put them in. Oh, that'd be great because that that changes the whole landscape of not having to. Yeah. Yeah, check it out because that that it's it's for a while we were like, man, we need to get those materials. So I would go visit yeah. like bacon, or I go visit pizza, yeah. uh, fear. I would jump around and pith at one point. So now you don't have to check it out. Look in there. I don't know. It might be in materials or somewhere in there, but it's in there. Well, I do know that um, some of the bigger teams, uh, so like, I mean, you're you're 39 now, right? Yeah. So you should be able to go to one of those bigger groups and start uh, getting uh, stuff, stuff for your jellyfish. Oh, yeah, I could get some blueprints, but I'm kind of on a longer track than that. I'm still, Are you? I, I got my my enterprise at 38 so i'm kind of and plus i have a whole fleet of mayflowers to keep you know continually <laughs> leveling up <laughs> i don't i don't i'm serious about mayflowers i just i need to have one per bay and i'm a little i'm i'm behind so i gotta gotta catch up there you go so you follow row is that what you're telling I me do. okay would you change anything about row if you could mm. I think I think if I changed if I wanted to see anything changed, I think I would change bracketing so that the whales weren't feeding on the smaller fish. Oh yeah. I I am a thirty nine, so I can't get hit by a level sixty. Everything else I can. Right. So I, I, would, I think I would adjust the brackets a little bit. I'd make it just ten. Kind of, That's just I'd uh, make it. I'd make it ten. I can hit whatever I want above, and I can hit. If I'm crazy enough to go try to hit a forty-three, that's fine. But I can yeah, only hit five ten below. Five below. Yeah. yeah. Let's just let's just kind of. Yeah, I, I agree with that, and I think a lot of people do, unless you are a whale. Yeah. Yeah. So the majority of people probably, and the ones who aren't getting hit by whales yet, they will agree with it as soon as they can. Sure. I mean, it's just no, I mean, I can, I think at 36, I can even start, I can even still hit a 24, which is ridiculous in my mind. You know, I don't even have to, I, I don't even have to send any of my strong, I, I mean, I can, I can send my, my, my Vortis to crack a, <laughs> I think I can hit like twenty six, maybe, which is which is not yeah. cool. That's not cool. It, it's not. And it, it's you know these guys are barely you know yeah at, might be over two billion in power. I mean at twenty six, this guy or gal just got a twenty six ship, uh, you know, and, and exactly. that's like come on. Yeah, but so I, I have a hard time, you know. You know, hit, 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 hitting those, and if I do hit them, it's not for me. I'll hit them for some of our small guys to, you know, start learning how to feed. Yeah. You know? Do you guys have a territory? Yeah. Are you guys, I always do, always kind of seem to maintain one territory. Dune has always, in my brain, for as long as I can remember, Dune has always been like Switzerland. Yeah, that's true. And so uh, they've always, you know, kind of s- stayed out of the political mess and, uh, you know, have negotiated their way into being able to hold territory without, you know, going through a lot of the drama. Every time I turned around at Bacon, I was tussling with somebody bigger. Well, you had that, that, that eagle beak and that bird butt. That's right, th- with a gigantic chip on my shoulder. Man, I, I got to... I'm going to find somebody's already come up with that picture. I'm going to find that picture and I'm going to put it up in this, in this interview. <laughs> Eagle beak bird, butt. 
that's your nickname, just so you know. That's right. Uh, well, <laughs> unless you're looking at my my picture from uh, Discord, and I've got the Rasta pig. Well, that's the one that I'm going to use for your for this interview. That's if whatever you have on Discord, I'm going to use. If you don't have Discord, I don't see yeah. how the hell I even interviewed you. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, what is your favorite alliance besides Dune, and why? Oh gosh! Doesn't have to be one that's around. It can be one that you liked a long time ago, or you know, a big one that you like, you admire, or whatever. I, to be honest with you, I like Raid, who now is Fear. Even though the Solar Warden and I never got along really well, I've always respected the way he's run things. Um, even though that he and I have had... A, you know, agreements about things that I've said or he's he has said to each other. I think one of the biggest problems in this game is, is that it's text-based. For sure. And, and so I think sometimes we get ourselves set up where we're reading way too much into what a text says, trying to find the little hidden innuendos. Well, and yeah. those innuendo might not even exist. You're trying to interpret this, and maybe you're having a bad day or a bad year. Exactly. You know, and yeah. they don't mean anything by it. I mean, I've interviewed Iron Man. I've interviewed uh, Solar. Both were, yeah. at, at first, they were kind of like, well, is this guy going to screw me over? What, what, you know? And then they they loosened up, and we talked, and, and they're just normal people. Um, some people may, like I said, some people may hate some people. Uh, I don't hate anybody and some people may love them. I guess it just depends on whose side you're on. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I'm never going to be best friends with Iron Man. I'm never going to be best friends with the show. Um, but I, I am going to respect them for who they are. Um, I might talk trash to them in the game. Kids, that's what we do. We just talk trash to each other. It's gamemanship. That's all it is. Yeah, some um, people, some people can't let that go though. That's the problem, I think. And, and, and that's the thing, you know. It's 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 you know why why are we taking this personally? This is yeah. it's a game. It's not personal. You know, these guys don't know me. They don't know my family. They don't. You know, I'm just some guy. You know, on the interwebs. <laughs> Yeah, who could disappear at any moment and Exactly. I so, mean, I could be using something to disguise my voice. I could be a trans trans woman uh, in deep in a basement eating Cheetos. They have no idea. Do you know how cool that would be if I was interviewing a trans woman eating Cheetos in a basement? Yeah, uh, I just think if everybody just remembers that there are real human beings on the other end of these devices that we play on and act accordingly, I think we would I think everybody would be happier, healthier players. I think we've all, I think we've all run into that where we're like, man, I don't like this guy. Why not? Well, because he said something on Galaxy Chat or he sent me this mean PM. But we don't know if we like that person. We just don't like what they said. Right. Yeah, I mean, they could be super. And there's a lot of grandpas on this game. <laughs> I found. Yeah. Raising my hand. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot of grandpas running around and. Yep. You think, you know what? This guy just called me a son of a motherless goat. But I got to stop. I got to think, you know what? But I bet he's nice to his grandkids. I got, I got, <laughs> he's not all bad. He's, he's, he's a good guy. Uh, and that kind of helps. Except for these little young punks. Some of them are a little, they need to get their uh, ships crashed a little bit. We all pay the price yep. eventually. Mostly early on. A lot of us, you started in 2019 early on. A lot of us got it out of our yeah. systems. And I remember when I first started playing, I couldn't get a node to save my life. Oh, man. Anywhere. Two star, you know? two star was so rough, man. I, I, I'd show up, and two seconds later, I was bounced. <laughs> yeah, well, so. well, IMDY was still around during that time, and they did not care. 
they lost and they also won the final battle, so who knows? Uh, well, anyway, fear is an alliance you respect. Yeah. So, what's your least favorite alliance? To be honest with you, I, I, it's got to be Vega. Oh. I mean, oh. It, it, it's just because, I mean, he's just, you know, he leaves this as an open free for all for people to join. And he doesn't spend enough time developing any of the players. So it's like the blind leading the blind. It's just him. You know? It's just him. I've been in there for extended periods of time. Uh, back when I Nobody. had when I had some accounts that were other than my my main sure. account, I don't have sure. those anymore. I, I, uh, and I'll tell you why is because I want a server merger, and I'm tired of all these alts propping up the server. Exactly. I, I I implore everybody who's listening to this, get rid of your alts. <laughs> they're never gonna they're never gonna change anything. And there's, nope. there's, there's a certain group, and they have a lot of alts. I'm not going to be part of perpetuating that. So if you get rid of him, though, uh, the, they would be a great little alliance. Yeah, they, you know, he had a guy there that uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Uh, had a really good shield game. I have a lot of respect for the guy. I always thought he should have been running the show. The only player I know besides Yo is something like something Opal. Opal Dinosaur. That's the guy I'm thinking of. Opal Dinosaur. And I think Opal Dinosaur might be a lady. That might be. Yeah, I think I think that's what I heard. And that's the only other real player, I think. Yeah, I, man, I, we, I spent a long time trying to recruit Opal Dinosaur, bring Opal Dinosaur to Bacon. And, you know, right or wrong or indifferent... He and or she is stuck with Yo forever. Yeah, I mean, and, good for them. He's got someone yeah, loyal. Man. He's got Chris, yeah. right? What is it, Lyra or something like that? That's the other fake alliance. Yeah. I don't know what his yeah. name is. I know it's L-Y-R-A, I think, is the the alliance. Yeah. Yo has a, a YouTube channel. He has a Discord server. He's a busy He's a guy. He's a rapper from Ontario or something like that. Oh, I don't know if he's a rapper. I'd love to hear that. No, seriously, it was on his on his website. Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, from the mean streets of Ontario, Canada. Oh yeah, the rough. What a rough life he must have. <laughs> so he can he can rap about the. The failings of socialist health care. Oh, my gosh. And those evil truckers <laughs> ruining his country, fighting for exactly. their freedom. That's right. <laughs> well, you've been through a lot in this game. You've got, had some, some highs and some really low lows, I would say. Yep. Why do you keep playing the game? Because I love playing the game. It's fun. And uh, now that I'm not in charge of anything anymore and I don't have those headaches, I can be back to even having more fun. <laughs> yeah, that... I'm sure I'll get the bug. I'm sure I'll get the bug again later down the road and I'll I'll create something new. Name it milk. I like I thought milk was really gonna take off, but it didn't. I actually I, I I had something I thought that might be a uh an idea for that would, you know, Tentalize the uh, 420 Club. Oh, um, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I wanted to call it Electric Lettuce. Oh, wow. Well, that would that would fire you up, you know? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> not that I partake anymore, but, you know... You could, sp I, you yeah. could, you could spell it W-E-D-E -E and probably get away with it. Yeah. But, yeah, I think Electric Lettuce would be... You know, a fun, I mean, God, just think about the many varieties of cannabis that are out there. And those funny names that your characters could could use. Oh, my God. Yeah. It would be ridiculous. I like, I like all the different personalities because it's not Starfleet. It's not, I mean, it's not really, I keep saying it's not really a Star Trek game. 
So one of my initial guys that I I wish I still had the picture. If I did, I'll see if I can still find it in my old Discord. But when we first started playing, one of the guys was a graphic artist. Yeah. And he created an enterprise made of completely out of pork products. Oh, that'd be awesome. Send it to me. I'll put it on this video. Yeah, I'll see if I can find it. <laughs> it was the most awesome thing ever. Sausages for the nacelles. It was oh, awesome. Be a, I got to see it now. I got to see it. <laughs> well, let's say you worked for Scopely, right? Like one day, all of a sudden, you work for Scopely. And they say, hey, you can change one thing about the game for the players. What's it going to be? I, I got to go back to bracketing. Yeah. I mean, they already they already do it with a lot of the events, you know, like mining events and stuff like that. And they put people in, you know, a perspective bracket with, you know, amongst their peers. Yeah. Um, I think they I think they just have to continue down that road for gameplay. Uh, because again, I mean, there's really no reason why, as a 36, I should be hitting anything below a 31. I agree. You know, it needs to be hard to crack sometimes. Yeah, I mean, you know, I try to, I, you know, from my own perspective, try not to hit anything below a, you know, a, like a 34. Oh. I mean, I'll hit something a little bit lower if there's just like a a ton of RSS in there, and I'm trying to pad my numbers, but. Um, but for the most part, you know, I try to, you know, stay within my belt range. You know, I want the challenge. <laughs> I have about three players who, and they know this. They must know. They must think I hate them, but I don't. Uh, uh, they're three different alliances, and they're one's a thirty-two. I don't know what the. I know one's a thirty-two, and I don't remember what the other two are. But they're not. They're not low twenties. They're high twenties. I'll test my ships on their bases. I, I don't hit them. Right. I don't hit them a hundred times. I used to to test all all. If I found somebody like that, I would just test all kinds of stuff. But I'll hit you once, and if it if it kills my ship, I'll be back in a little while just to test it. But I'm not gonna. I don't take your. That's for the other guys in GOT. They're the raiders. <laughs> I just test crews and uh, I make videos and interviews, and I don't really get too into exactly. it. Anymore. Yeah. Well, the I have three questions for you, and that's sure. it. And then it's then it's over. Then you can go back to your life. What would you tell someone to encourage them if they were having a hard time in life? Mm. I think I would probably kind of spend some time talking with them about about their life in general, anyway. Uh, just to kind of get to know them a little bit is everybody has a different struggle that they're dealing with. Um, this game, you know, even with the way I work, uh, it's all about building relationships and, you know, I don't have the right to talk to you about solving your life's problems without, you know, taking the time to get to know who you are as a person. I don't even want to dip my toe into that water, you know, because your circumstances in life might be different than my, the way I've experienced them, you know. Yeah, and I can only I can only speak for myself. You know, if if I've had any kind of similar insight, uh, so yeah, I think I think I just got to spend the time to, you know, do some emotional interviewing a little bit and kind of figure out the gist of what it is that they're trying to get at because what I think I hear and what they're actually saying may be two different things. That's good. That's really insightful. That's good. That's, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Maybe some of these questions will help someone, you know? Absolutely. Well, question number two, what brings you joy in life? Oh, I, I spend a lot of time, uh, playing with my grandchildren. Um, but the most important thing for me every spring is baseball. Uh, I'm a local area umpire. Uh, I do everything from little kids to college division two. And uh, so from Feb late February until late September, I'm usually at a ballpark this time of the day. So, 
So let me ask you a bonus question. Have you ever, have you ever, uh, called someone out and been like, Oh dang, that was not a good call. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. Uh. I mean, I mean, that's, that's kind of naughty in a, in a, in a one word answer. Yep. Uh, Yep. Because I mean, uh, Naughty has a big mouth, and he, Naughty's not afraid to say what's on his mind. Um, and Naughty doesn't care whose feelings he hurts sometimes. But I think you know, I think Naughty's evolving. I think you know, Naughty's butt kicking uh, kind of chilled him out a little bit. So maybe, maybe Naughty will learn a little bit from uh, his old ways and take things a little little nicer with people um, and not be so uh, mean spirited and twisted I think I think Naughty started out as a pure 100% character in the game and then you started to kind of take over as you uh, as you went <laughs> yeah Naughty is a twisted individual I, I think that will always remain the same to an extent um but it's not it's it's twisted but not mean spirited i mean how can you be mean spirited you can't be mean spirited when your alliance was called bacon (laughs) i mean i mean it's it's all fun it is all fun and i you know i still chuckle thinking about all of the different names we've had guys call themselves uh you know I I I can't remember who it was, but I challenged them uh, to uh, change their name to uh, Dry Rub, <laughs> and, he, and he totally did it. He was like, "I'm on that name." And I mean, I, I I knew what we were doing, you know, and we were you know making stupid phallic jokes at a barbecue, but you know, it was funny. You were playing a game. Yeah, uh, you know, I I. Rogue, Rogue Porkins. Oh yeah, uh, you know. I mean, he he used to be. I don't know if you remember Squanchy. I remember that name. From back, yeah, from back in the LVE days. That was that's Rogue Porkins. That's Rogue Porkins. Oh wow! And he he's he's the co-founder of Bacon. <laughs> what's What's funny is there are guys out there with they still have their Bacon names. Yep, and they're they're probably in Dune. I've seen a few just out there, but they're still bacon people. There's a bunch in Blaze, uh, a couple in SCE, a couple in PPA. They're all over the place, <laughs> and that's one thing that's been true. They have not ditched their bacon names, so they're, even though they're yeah. not not associated with bacon any longer, they're true carnivores. They, they gotta be. <laughs> well, it's time for the last question. All right, sir. And this is a deep one. This is just like these other two. This one's about real life. If you died today, how would you like to be remembered? Oh. I... I think first and foremost, I want to be remembered as a a husband, father, a grandfather, uh, a man of God, uh, a, a member of my community. But beyond that, I mean, that's you know those are those are my accomplishments in life. You know, my my wife and I love the community that we live in. Uh, we uh, we operate the only food pantry in our area that's open on weekends. I even wrote a grant uh, for a building that's over a thousand square feet, so people can actually um, shop in the pantry as opposed to us providing the boxes. You know, we grab the food and we let people come and grab the stuff that they want that they know that their family will eat not stuff that we just push upon them. Um, so, yeah, we're, 
That's good, we, man. Uh, it gives them a yeah. little. It gives them a little pride too. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're not sitting there trying to preach to them. We're, you know, we're just trying to be part of the community, trying to help help folks who just, you know, are having a tough time. And a lot of us are having a tough time, right? So. Yeah, it's it's tough for everybody right now. I think. Yep. Well, Naughty. Yes, sir. Thanks for chilling with me. Hey, thanks, Weaver. Cool, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate the time.